We start with breaking news at noon as Johnson and Johnson vaccines are now paused across the country. Their concerns of potentially dangerous blood clots. Thanks for being here. I'm Bill Young and I'm Liz Ortiz. Of course, this is having major impacts on Johnson and Johnson vaccine clinics, hospitals and medical centers and pharmacies here in North Carolina. The single dose vaccine has already been given to more than 6.8 million Americans. Our team coverage begins with CBS 17 consumer investigator Steve Sprager with the very latest on what the government is saying about the J&J &J pause. Steve. Well, guys, the FDA and the CDC held a joint briefing trying to put this all into perspective. Here's what we're talking about. Six cases out of seven million vaccinations with the J&J &J vaccine. All six were women between the ages of 18 and 48. Now, one woman died and a second woman is hospitalized in critical condition. Here is the working theory. It's an immune response to the vaccine leading to platelets clumping together, creating the blood clots. The CDC says the clotting problems show up after seven to nine days after the J&J &J vaccinations, no longer than three weeks. The symptoms are severe, pain in the legs, abdomen, and shortness of breath. The FDA says if you get flu-like symptoms after taking the J&J &J vaccine in the first day or two, that is a normal reaction. The blood clot problems come later. Now, we need to emphasize over 121 million people have been vaccinated. The vast majority of them were for Pfizer or Moderna vaccines, and those people have shown no blood clot problems. The FDA emphasizing this is a pause, not a stoppage. It is recommending that the J&J &J vaccine not be administered, but says if a provider feels it is necessary, the FDA will not stop its administration of the J&J &J vaccine. It says even though it was just six cases out of seven, out of the seven million, the scientists need to understand the problem and deal with it. Now, here in Wake County, we're told there are no J&J &J clinics scheduled today. They were planning some community J&J &J clinics, but they'll now switch those to the Moderna vaccine. The state is shipping 18,000 Moderna and Pfizer vaccines to Wake County this week, and I've learned that Wake County has about 9,000 doses of J&J &J on the shelves, and I'm told it'll stay there until they receive new federal and state guidance. From the newsroom, I'm Steve Sprasia.